The following is a production by Lone Star Community Radio, Montgomery County's community radio station. You can support Lone Star Community Radio by donating and sponsoring programs just like this. For more information, check us out online at IRLoneStar.com. This segment is brought to you by... Team Sinisi is a proud sponsor of Conroe Culture News. Vinny Sinisi and his professional team provide comprehensive real estate services throughout the greater Montgomery County area and beyond. Whether looking to buy, sell, or invest in real estate, Team Sinisi has an impeccable reputation. Contact Team Sinisi for a great experience at teamsinisi.com. That's T-E-A-M-S-I-N-I-S-I.com. Since 2004, Roger Stein Chiropractic has offered spine and joint manipulation services to residents of Montgomery County and surrounding areas. Conditions treated include lower back pain, migraines, headaches, whiplash, carpal tunnel, neck pain, sciatica, joint pain, sports injuries, herniated discs, and complications from pregnancy. Roger Stein Chiropractic, led by Dr. Stacy Rogers and Dr. Brian McGee, is an integrity verified chiropractic clinic. Call 936 441 9990 for an appointment or visit rogerssteinchiropractic.com. That's R O D G E R S S T E I N chiropractic.com. You are listening to Lone Star Community Radio on 104.5. KCZW LP Conroe and 106.1 KZCC LP Conroe and worldwide at IRLoneStar.com. Hello, everyone. I am Margie Taylor, your host for Conroe Culture News, and I am sitting here today. Well, actually, I was going to say with two guests, but I actually have one remotely. Uh, Dr. Stacy Rogers, who's also a sponsor for our show, is here sitting across with me, and she is getting ready to have an event. She has these every month, don't you? Usually we have Patient Appreciation Day twice a year. Twice a year. Okay. Well, this is a big event coming up this Saturday, January 15th. And uh, we also have Christian Collins, who's uh, plugging in remotely. Hey, Christian. Hey, Margie. So great to be with you. Oh, this is fun. So tell me a little bit about the event, uh, Dr. Rogers. It's happening Saturday with Christian. So we are going, we're doing several different things on Saturday. And the first thing that we're doing is raising money for CASA with um, raising money for kids that need an advocate that are in the foster system. And then the second thing we're doing is we're hosting Christian, who is running for Congress. And we wanted our constituents to have an opportunity to come and actually meet Christian and to speak with him, ask him any questions that he had, and also for Christian to have a chance to to meet the constituents too, so that when he gets um, into D.C., he doesn't he doesn't forget the people here at home and and why we send him to D.C. I like what you said when he gets there. Did you, did you hear that, Christian? <laughs> yeah. Well, thank so, you so much, Stacey, and I like the way that sounds. Um, how long have y'all known each other? For a period of time? Well, I've known Christian for, I've been watching Christian for a couple of years, and so I just kind of sat in the background and watched him, um, wanted to see how he operated without him really knowing who I was, which I think probably there are a lot of people secretly that secretly have been watching Christian I do that too sometimes. for a long time, because <laughs> I wanted to see who he really was and, and what he really stood for, wanted to see how he operated without him really knowing much about me. And so I was able to watch him in many different settings, and Christian has has stayed true to who he is and what he said he was. He is. He's never done anything contrary to, to his the platform that he's running on, and he's just he's the real, real deal. He is the real deal. Christian and I have worked together on uh, some other projects with Congressman Brady, who he used to work with, and one of them was a fundraiser at Dosey Do. Do you remember that, Christian? I do, I do. <laughs> yeah, it seems like it's been a while. I guess with COVID, things kind of are longer, 
you know, than we realized a long time ago. But anyway, so this event is coming up this Saturday from 9 to 1 p.m. And for a $25 donation, you can be seen, uh, evaluated, and then that $25 goes back to CASA, uh, Child Advocates, Special Advocates for the Court for CPS Kids. So, Christian, what time are you going to be there? I'm going to be there, I think, approximately 10 o'clock, and I'll okay. work that out with Stacy. but uh, I look forward to, to being with everyone there. I'm super excited. So tell me a little bit about why you are seeking this role. Yeah, thank you so much for that question, Margie. I really appreciate all the work you do in the community, as well as you, Stacy, and uh, honored to be with you both. Look, you know, I'm running for Congress because I feel like our country is in peril, and under the Biden administration, uh, we've seen job losses and, and some 600,000 businesses killed uh, due to uh, the, the, the government overreach because of the shutdowns. And uh, Biden has, has worked to continue this, and uh, many of the Democrat states are looking to eventually shut down our, our, our um, small businesses again, and we, we can't let that happen. We've got to fight back. And I know parents really care about their children, and they don't like the gender dysphoria that's being pushed on their children. Uh, they don't like the critical race theory that's being pushed on their children. They teach children to hate one another based on the color of their skin. Uh, our borders have, by design, been opened. And we're seeing uh, numbers that we've never seen before, droves and droves of illegal immigrants coming into our country. And we've got to do everything that we can to, to, to secure our borders, to uh, finish the wall, to end catch and release, and fully reinstate the Remain in Mexico policy and empower our border patrol agents to actually enforce our nation's laws. And we've got to do everything we can to take our country back from the radical left, who looks uh, like we've never seen them before. They've gotten way, way, way left. Uh, and, and there used to be some maybe moderate Democrats, and there's arguably maybe Joe Manchin. But, but besides that, I mean, there's really no more moderate Democrats. They've all gone uh, very crazy like, like AOC and uh, pushing the Green New Deal and pushing all kinds of uh, anti-American ideas, and we've got to fight back. Unfortunately, there are establishment Republicans who go along to get along, and they capitulate to the Democrats. They don't actually fight, and we need to have somebody in that position that will not do the bidding of the lobbyists and the leadership of the party, but will actually stand up for the will of the people, and that will not be bought by special interests, uh, but that actually seeks to represent the will of the people. And that is my heart in, in running for this position, Margie. Well, I also really appreciate the fact that you are a constant in the community. You didn't just show up. You've been working in the community. You've been working with a youth summit. Faith is at the top of your list. And you integrate faith into what you do as well. Yeah. Uh, you know, I, I didn't just show up to run. Right. Uh, when I... <laughs> You know, I've been involved in the community for a very long time with our, our, our faith leaders and our pastors and nonprofit groups and uh, the Montgomery County Food Bank. And, uh, you know, mm -hmm. we, we work to meet about every quarter, many of our pastors and faith groups and nonprofits. And I pray for America. Second Chronicles 714 says that you uh, humble yourselves and seek God's face and he will heal your land. And that's what we need is, is healing in America. And, um, you know, I, I feel that people of faith really have to get involved in the political process and they can't sit this one out because I believe we've given, we've been given more time. Uh, but if we, if we don't get involved in the political process, <laughs> you know, we don't fight to say, to take our country back and in, in 2022, then we could lose our country forever and it That's may scary. never look the same. That's scary. And so we've got to fight back. Yeah. And, and you mentioned our youth and, and, uh, yes, uh, Texas youth summit, I'm sure I'll talk more about that, but, uh, look, you know, we, we just had a, an event in Conroe with uh, 1,200 youth. We were so excited to bring in Kaylee McEnany. Uh, we've had Candace Owens before. We brought in Charlie Kirk and uh, Donald Trump Jr., Ted Cruz, and Madison Cawthorn, a bunch of names. And we've worked to educate them on conservative and Judeo-Christian principles. Uh, it's been so much fun to see how young people are fired up uh, to save America. So what are a couple things you would want voters to know about you um, 
you know, when they talk about you behind your back and when you show up to the event on Saturday, what, what are the most important things you want people to know? Uh, I want them to know that I, I, I truly care about this community specifically in this country, and I will do everything that I can to listen well. Uh, I'm the youngest candidate in the race as far as I know. i um, 33 years old and uh, been so blessed by this community, and so many people have rallied around me. Uh, and I'm so thankful for the support we've been given. And, you know, look, you know, I want to I want to listen to them because there's a lot of great people that have, you know, built uh, great small businesses. And and I want to learn from them and, and figure out ways where I can help and, and really be a blessing uh, to give back to this community. Um, and furthermore, um, you know, my heart is is I'm not going to Washington to be a celebrity, uh, to be the, quote, honorable Christian Collins, to get a steak dinner or be on TV once a week and go to the nice parties and uh, be praised by D.C. elites. I can sleep on my office couch for all I care. I'm going there to fight for their values, and I will not capitulate, and I will not sell out the Washington establishment. I'm endorsed by the House Freedom Fund, which is the political arm of the House Freedom Caucus, and those are some 40 legislators that work incredibly hard uh, to hold establishment Republicans feet to the fire when they lose their way. And Jim Jordan is the one who started this group, Mark Meadows, co-founded uh, with him. He, he went on to be President Trump's chief of staff. And, uh, you know, I, it's, a, it's quite an alternative to my main opponent who's endorsed by the Congressional Leadership Fund, which is Kevin McCarthy and Steve Scalise and more of the establishment in Washington. And I'm, I'm going there with the intent uh, to represent the will of the people. I'm endorsed by Senator Ted Cruz. and I'm endorsed by Texas Right to Life. And I am 100% pro-life and very proud of that. Uh, and so you can expect somebody that will not go along to get along, uh, not cause problems unnecessarily. But when the D.C. establishment loses their way, I will do everything that I can to be the mouthpiece of we the people. You'll remember where you came from. And you, you are, uh, you live in Conroe, right? That's correct. Yep. So like we've mentioned, you, you know the people here, you know the community, you know what's important to them, their values, their Texas values, and to represent that. So let me mention also where someone can find out more about you. You have your website, christiancollins.org, correct? That's right. Yeah, christiancollins.org. And Christian and, Collins, uh, Texas on Facebook? Yes, so Christian Collins TX on Facebook and on Instagram, and Collins for TX on Twitter. And there's a number of ways people can get involved. They can donate. Uh, they can host a, a great meet and greet for me, the way Stacy's doing. I'm so appreciative of her. Uh, there's, uh, you can volunteer for us. The, the, the election day is March 1st, and early voting starts February 14th. So if you want to help us work the polls, if you want to uh, get involved with us on block walking or phone banking, we need your help. So we'd love to have you support us. Uh, also donate uh, at ChristianCollins.org. There's, there's plenty of ways you can get involved. Will you be attending a lot of the forums coming up in the next two months? I'm sure I will. There's a lot of different ones, and <laughs> it's a big district. So it, it spans uh, five different um, uh, counties, and so a lot of different opportunities there. And But here in Montgomery County, you can rest assured I'll, I'll be there. So. Stacey, do you have any questions for Christian? Um, one of the things that I think is important, one of the reasons why I wanted Christian to come to this event is that I don't realize, I don't think a lot of people realize the um, what happened actually in the state of Texas that um, Christian was talking about with um, a lot of overreach. And um, we had a big Supreme Court ruling September, um, January 29th, um, 2021, that was the Texas Board of Chiropractic Examiners versus Texas um, Medical um, Association. And there is just so much overreach. And a lot of times people don't realize that if we're not careful, we're not going to have medical freedom. And I know that Christian is a big proponent of medical freedom. And also, just like Christian was talking about with small businesses, I have a very dear friend in Washington State who is a chiropractor and she literally lost everything with the shutdown in Washington DC. She lost every single thing that she had. Um, she had a 
health food restaurant, really cool, um, great restaurant, um, and then her chiropractic clinic. And she actually had lost the entire um, restaurant in the shutdown, which is still, you know, Washington State isn't running like it was before the pandemic. And there's so much overreach in the state of Washington that she lo- she lost everything that she had because of the shutdown. She was able to stay, um, keep her chiropractic clinic open, but she's had to actually sell it. And she's looking to leave the state of Washington. She's going to work for the new owners of her clinic for a year. And then she wants to get out of Washington state. And we need to realize that in the state of Texas, that it is a very real possibility that it is happening. Um, this is someone who gave their entire life to go to school. She spent eight years ago to school to get her doctorate. Um, she spent a few years after school working for someone else, learning the ropes. And then she spent 20 years building a business and it's gone. And I know that Christian supports small business and he supports people to have that um, access to care of their choice and that it not be dictated to us. And so I want people to actually come talk to Christian about that. And then I want Christian to see the faces of the people that he's going to be representing when he gets to D.C. so that he doesn't forget about these people that come to my clinic that maybe they don't want to take an opiate or they don't want to take um, any other medication. The recent study that was published that says that our seniors that are given medications do not do as well as people that receive a chiropractic manipulative therapy. And who wants, who wants to take any more medicine than they absolutely have to. And when our seniors are prescribed another medication on top of what they already have, they, they just don't do as well as when they come to the chiropractor. And people people should have the, the access to the, to the care that, mm-hmm. that they want. If they're, if they're on medicine, why would we give them more, more medication? If we can keep people active and going and engaged lifelong, then... That's the type of citizen that we want. And I know that's um, where Christian's heart is, is for the people. And so that people have that freedom in this country that we've, we really are and truly are at risk of not happening. And the recent Supreme Court ruling, um, which was in the favor of the Texas Board of Chiropractic Examiners, um, set an absolute precedent for us to have that right to have access to chiropractic care. It set a precedent for the nation. Well, and you're very passionate about that, of course, being that you have your own business. You've had it for how long? 20 years. 20 years. So it's very similar path. And you're also very involved in the Republican Party as well. <laughs> so there, there's two hits there, <laughs> Christian. Uh, so yeah. having uh, Dr. Stacy Rogers as your advocate is a big plus. And we really look forward. I will be there. Uh, I'm planning on it. Uh, Dr. Dr. Rogers is my doctor as well, and you're my friend, so why wouldn't I be there? <laughs> <laughs> anyway. Yeah, wow. Well, I'm so thankful to have her support. And, you know, to put it in simple terms, uh, if you don't have control of your own body, uh, then what do you have control over? Uh, if the government can force you to take the jab, then, you know, we're going to really lose out on all of our other rights because there's maybe nothing else that really matters if you can't control your own body. And there's so many people that have had, um, you know, that, 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 that the, the jab hasn't been good for them, you know, and so you keep having to take more and more and more and more because there's always a new variant. And, um, you know, I, I think people need to be able to make those decisions for themselves and it shouldn't be forced on them from the government or any employer. Uh, you know, the, the, the the companies need to be able to uh, decide what's best. Uh, employers need to decide what's best, uh, you know, and not be forced by the government to force their employees uh, to take these jabs. Very good. Well, I appreciate you taking the time to speak with us, Christian. And uh, we will see you over at the clinic, uh, Roger Stein Chiropractic, 3033 West Davis by Taco Bell and Conroe High School on Saturday morning. You say about 10-ish. The event starts at 9 and goes till 1 p.m. And if you have not been there in ever before it's $25 to but the community it's the free doctor, to but the it's community. free to the community, free to the community. And you'll have events yeah. for kids and so forth so thank you for your time i appreciate it christian 
Thank you so much, Margie, and, and great to be with you both. Can't wait to see you there, uh, Stacy and, and Margie. Okay, looking forward to it. Thank you, Christian. God bless you. Thank you. Take care. Bye. So, continuing the conversation, tell me a little bit about, so you're also having an event where you're giving away uh, some prizes. Yes, so on Saturday, um, like we were saying, anybody from the community can come. It's totally open. Absolutely, anybody can walk in the door. We're happy to have them. We're going to have brunch um, to start out with, so um, I'll start catering with Cody and Candace Spence. It's going to catering. And bacon. Oh, yeah, definitely. The candy <laughs> bacon is definitely on the menu. And so we're going to have brunch and we're going to have a mimosa bar on oh. uh, Saturday. And we are going to have a photo booth. So that is going to be really fun. So people can check in. They can um, tag us when they check in. And that makes them eligible to win the prizes. And our first prize is dinner at Red Brick Tavern which we wanted to support our local businesses. So here in downtown Conroe, the Red Brick Tavern is our first prize, that dinner. And then the second prize is we've got a Roger Stein chiropractic package for uh, the second prize. And the third prize is dinner and a movie at Star Cinema Grill. So another um, local business that we wanted to support giving prizes to. And if you show up, you get a ticket for the raffle. If you bring a guest, you get more tickets for the raffle. If you uh, participate participate in the photo booth, you get a ticket in the raffle. If you donate to CASA, you get a ticket in the raffle. If you stop at the CASA booth, you get more tickets at the raffle. Win, win, win. It's a win, win, win. So there's just <laughs> lots of ways to get tickets for in for the raffle, and the prizes are great. Um, Red Brick Tavern is definitely one of my favorite places to eat. I think they have the best burger. They do. Debbie uh, Glenn loves that. <laughs> <laughs> and then, um, so we will have Casa there, and Casa is going to be explaining what they do that any to anybody that wants to stop by. We'll have food. Um, the doctors will be giving away free adjustments. So you have any, four doctors, right? Besides four doctors. yourself, mm-hmm. and so five all together. Five um, all together. We will be. Um, giving away adjustments if someone wants to donate to CASA to any patient that's an existing. So if you are an existing patient and you haven't been in a while, this is a great time to come back in, get an adjustment, help out kids in the foster system. And then if you are someone who's never been a patient in the clinic, you can get your consultation, the exam, and the x-rays that day for a $25 donation to CASA. So it's a win-win. We're going to have lots of games for kids. We're going to have um, prizes for kids too. We're going to have face painting for the kids. So it should be a really, really fun day for everybody to come come to the clinic. We've got um, entertainment again for the kids. A lot of times people hesitate to come because they think, well, I don't know if I could bring my kids to the doctor's office. And uh, all of the doctors in our clinic see kids. Dr. Um, Martha and I are pediatric certified chiropractors, so we see kids all the time. I've got one when I get back to the clinic who's coming in because he's not sleeping. So a new patient, um, mama's wanting him to sleep so everybody in the house can get some sleep. (laughs) So I'm getting ready to go back and see. Um, He is three. And then we are um, going to, um, so we also have a pregnancy and pediatrics um, certification. And all the doctors in the clinic are pregnancy um, technique certified. That's the Webster Technique certifi- certification, which helps reduce labor by one third, and is known Yay. to <laughs> yes, <laughs> especially those first babies that are usually typically take uh, twenty four hours to be born. Um, so we usually um, help reduce that labor, and the research shows that women typically have a more comfortable pregnancy when they're going to the chiropractor. Regular. Now you tell me. <laughs> years know. later where my, was I 30? I know my youngest is 32 <laughs> mm, yeah a long time ago a long time ago <laughs> so it's all good and again it's 30 33 West Davis it's uh, 3303 3303, 3303. 3303. Yes. okay 3303 yes. West Davis you can't miss it and you'll see all all the activities going on and uh, you routinely do a lot of fun things with kids yes. you dress up and <laughs> heroes pajama parties all all kinds of fun events so you're great with kids and uh, families love being around you well we we have um 
it's really, I can tell I've been in practice in a, a while because I'm starting to have patients that I saw as babies. Oh, wow. Now are having kids, which makes me feel that's like, crazy. wow. Yeah, yes, it is. So those, those are families you see three generations. We have a lot of families where we see four generations of their family. Um, we've seen so many different people throughout the, the years from from birth and um, the last patient that I treated before I came in, she's 94 and oh. yep, she's a big leader in our community actually. So it was very fun to see her. She was on her way to exercise class after she wow. left the office. Wow. So. Now I feel young. <laughs> <laughs> really? Yes, absolutely. And especially as our population, the age of our population continues to rise. People are living much, sure. much longer than they were before. How old is your mother, Margie? 83. 83. Yeah. Yeah. It's not, a, not uncommon. She'll outlive me, I'm sure. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure. So your uh, website is rogersteinchiropractic.com, and you're also on Facebook, Instagram. People can find you, but the best way is to come by on Saturday. That would be a great place uh, to come and meet us, come meet the doctors, come meet our staff, um, come see who we are, what, what we are about, and um, come meet Christian. Come talk to him. Come say hello. He's he's going to represent all of us, no matter what side of the fence that you are on. And he's going to be responsible to all of us, no matter um, you know what side of the fence that you're on. And first of all, I think there really shouldn't be any fences because we're all um, trying to struggle through this life together. And I really believe that we're here to, to help each other get through this journey called life. And so I think it's important for um, Christian to know as many of his constituents as possible and to hear from as many people as possible. Absolutely. Well, we appreciate you coming on the show and being a sponsor for years, seems like. And we're in our new venue, and it's only going to get better and better. Uh, Thank you for taking the time to come visit with us. Thank you for having me, Margie. Really appreciate you. Thank you.